Welcome to the Student Course Request Tutorial for incoming 7th graders on using RenWeb to make student course requests. I am your tutorial host, Dr. Nicole Yimothy, and I am the ISP Technology Integration Coordinator. I'm located up in the Tech Center where you can get tech support. You can also get tech support by emailing edtechhelp at isp.edu.pa. The Tech Center is located above the elementary gym, down the hall from the nurse, up those stairs. We're open Monday to Friday from 6.45 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. for support for students, faculty, and staff, and parents. Our goal with this tutorial today is to make sure that you remember how to access RenWeb as a student and where to access student course requests for your grade level. So before we get started, I want to review what you'll need. You'll need to have a laptop that has internet connection. You'll need to have your ISP issued email. You'll need to have the district code of IS-PAN and you'll need to remember your RenWeb password. This was a password that was given to you as a default that we'll review in just a moment. However, you were instructed to change it last year, whether you were in the fifth grade to sixth grade transition time or you were doing course requests for seventh grade going, sixth grade going to seventh grade. However, we do have a few troubleshooting tech tips for you. If you get the message that says invalid credentials, that means the email address that you've put in the system is not your ISP issued one on file. Please check it, make sure the spellings are correct, as well as the fact that you have the root ending of ispst.edu.pa. Also realize that if you do five attempts and they do not work, you'll be locked out of the system. To be unlocked, you'll need to come up to the Tech Center to get a reset. However, you also need to make sure that you have clicked the student button on the radial at the bottom, which we'll review when we go live to the internet to try. Also, the default password back in 2014 was ISP12345. Though you were supposed to change it, if you didn't, you may be able to still use this password. Again, remember though, five failed attempts and you'll be locked out and we'll need to reset your account. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go over to the ISP website and using a Chrome Internet Explorer or Firefox browser, we're going to click on the word students to get the hot link or the quick link to the RenWeb support. So we're going to go ahead and pop over to the internet now. And here we are at the ISP website, and we'll need to scroll down a little bit to the Students tab. And as you see, and you scroll down through the student quick links, there's a link for RenWeb. So you'll click this, it'll load up what's called the Parents Web Portal, and this is where students and parents can log in. If you've been here before, you'll notice that the district code has already been saved. If you haven't, or it's a new computer, you'll need to type IS-PAN. Then you'll go ahead and put in your login which will be your email and I'm going to use it on a fake student here remember that it's the ispst.edu.pa email address and then you'll put in your password that you have entered this is the radial button I was mentioning earlier you need to change it from parent to student and click login when it logs you in you'll know you're there because your name will show up on the screen and here you'll see John Fake, which is my fake student we're using right now, so I know I'm in my account. What I'll want to do is go down here to Student Information and click on Course Requests. This time you'll see that it will come up and it will say Middle School Year of 2016-17, Incoming Grade 7. Your deadline for course requests is May 6th at 2 p.m., so please make sure you've done your changes in your course request by that point. For 7th grade, you simply need to choose your four exploratories in the order of preference, one being the most popular or the one you want the most, and four being your last choice. It's simple by a drop-down menu, so here I'd like to go to take STEM for, some, uh, for, for my first choice, and maybe theater is my second preference, then I'd be interested in art, and then music. Please remember that when you are doing these choices, if you choose music to be your first choice, then it's a year-long course, and so you'll be given that during the first semester, and your second semester will continue as music. Also, we offer a third language at ISP. That could be Intermediate French for 7th graders, or it could be an online K-12 for Mandarin or German. 
There's both beginner and intermediate levels with the K-12 German and Mandarin options. If you do want to do a third language, you may choose so by coming down here to the drop-down menu. And you can select either the middle school intermediate French or, as I said, the K-12 online program. Chinese 1 is beginner, Chinese 2 is intermediate, as German 1 would be beginner and German 2 would be intermediate. So if here I was interested in the French, I would cl click it and it would save it. If you are not interested in taking a third world language, then you do not need to worry about taking, filling that box in. At the bottom here, you'll see there's a save button. And this is really important. If you don't click the save, you won't save your information. Here you'll know that it's been saved because it says course crests were updated. Now if you do change your mind that, oh, I don't want to take that third language, you can come back here at any point before May 6th and change it to a blank and as long as you click save it will update and you'll see again updated. Now please remember anything you do here is saved in the system however if you make changes or want to make changes they must be done by the deadline. On the 6th when we close down the request system whatever is here in this order will be what will be put in as your preference. And while we're not guaranteeing you that you get your first or second choice we do use the computer system and your preference to do our best to get you one of your top two choices for first and second semester. I appreciate your time today and if you have any questions or need any help, please remember that you can come up to the Tech Center and get support. Thanks a lot for listening and have a great day.